like this is what you need you need a hinge one hinge on the right side another hinge on the left side you want to drill the hinge you put a screw here on your wooden fence and then there's a little hole in the hinge so you want to stick the window blind into that hole and make sure it's secured okay? and then measure the length of the win window blind for your screen from top all the way to the bottom so it doesn't reach quite the bottom yet and then what you want to do is you want to put staples along the, the window blind okay and then uh, that will secure and limit the length at which goes all the way down and what you also want to do along here you put weight metal rods across so that if there's a moderate wind it won't blow it away all right so it will hold it down and it'll keep it there even a uh, slight windy day still so you can see there's some wind here and it still hold the screen down okay so here's your projector and uh, it will shine onto your screen okay so you want to measure how far the distance uh, it will throw the image into all right now of course uh, there is a speaker built into this projector but it's not very good so I end up uh, having my own three-way speakers here that is a computer speaker actually and one is an outdoor speaker I was able to wire them allow uh, to have stereo and a little bit more sound to it so it would be more enjoyable as a, a backdoor outdoor family home theater for at least 10 people to watch on top of that my table actually has a built-in um, DVD player so it's protected from the rain and I actually put it into the table so now you can play the DVD and hook up to your projector now you don't have to be as fancy as my uh, device you can actually uh, just bring out your DVD hook it up to your uh, projector and play it onto the screen now of course you would need a power cord, very long one. Okay, you, lawnmower power cord is good, but you would need that. And there we go, it's done, and you can actually now enjoy your movie. Well, you're embarrassing.